So before season started, or I don't even know remember when, I gotta look back, but I created the Alabama drone deer recovery page on Facebook and we have been building that. I have taken on a moderator, Bradley Buchanan, that that he and I have a uh, you know pretty good thought process about you know what we're doing. I love his technical abilities and the way he explains things, and he puts out a lot of great content. So I've added him as a moderator, and he has made a map and a phone list and a WhatsApp chat list. I mean, he is really taking it to the next level. And right. and so today, I got a hit on WhatsApp, uh, which is the group that I belong to. And uh, it was from Adam, uh, one of the guys in there. And he says, is anybody to help, available to help with one south of Troy? And uh, so I chimed in. He said, check our available tracks chat so I called the guy the guy's name is Colby and um, and he is uh, has a Brundage address and he shot a buck and uh, they're they're just pretty doggone sure it's buck shot or gut shot and and they have tracked and tracked and tracked this deer across property lines across the paved road and it's just got down there and it's got into some thick stuff and um, they're just they're just wondering if we can come and locate the deer and let's see if the you know what's going on with the deer right and um, so so you know one of the benefits of, of having the having the drone is that you can fly over without trumps and all over somebody else's land yeah. Yeah. and um, so uh, it's neat to see the forum that we put together a uh, work where somebody got a, uh, a call out for a drone uh, recovery and I got the message and it was in my area and uh, I was able to call and make contact and so now we're headed out on another all-american adventure to go you know see what we find um, you know hopefully we'll be able to find the deer for him and uh, everybody be happy 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 I'll be, uh, be us heading up to Brundage to see Colby so I'm gonna text him let him know we're coming and, and we'll be right there another adventure Well, I appreciate it. Andy. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell us about the hunt a little bit. Tell yeah. us. I mean, it was. Camera's going off as I'm walking to the stand. Oh, really? We have. We got one food plot over here, another one over here, and then in between, it's kind of like a big crossroad where they just they walk all around it. Right. Sat there, camera's going off. I'm just like, hmm. Should be sat in the shooting house, and. Sure enough, no. sun just started peeking up and he comes walking up the road and it's one of them angles where he's kind of walking this way, you're sitting this way and you don't gotta shift your whole body over and put the crosshairs right behind his shoulder and kind of paused for a minute and then took off. And it's been solid blood trail, I mean, followed blood for three hours and I was like, all right, let's, yeah, everybody I talked to said just give it time. It's kind of hard. Anticipation's <laughs> killing me. I don't need a whole lot of area to launch from, and the sun is uh, get, it's still high. Uh, but let's go over there and get positioned, and let's let's put one up. All the way on the other side of the creek, back towards our property, through all these planted pines, and then follow the blood trail, pick it back up again over here, and then it turns into a nasty rank mess. There's nothing stopping me from diving on in there to go get them. It's just, I don't, once once it gets so thick and you're kind of hunched over trying to walk through there, it's kind of hard to keep a track of where the blood's at. Yep, yep. And I still found some more blood, but then it kind of got to an area like, I don't even know which way to go. Yeah. Where all the blood was, you look, you're like, how is he, how is he walking through this right now? I mean, he's... Somewhere that general direction.
There he is. No way. Mm -hmm. Dead as can be. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta call my dad. We found him. It didn't take a one minute and eleven seconds. I'm looking at him. Oh yeah, he he cut off to the uh, cut off to the right. How about that? Yep. yep. We needed a find. We were hoping for one. That's a big body deer too. Mm -hmm. Nice deer. It was pretty nice. nice so it takes me about a minute to find the deer and to fly over it. I put a pin on it and then. The software in the drone allows me to share the location of that pin. I share that with Colby, and then he's able to walk in and go straight to the deer. I'm going to make a video of, a, of this whole event. I'll watch you walk in there and drag him out. There he is right there. Isn't that cool? Good video. That's pretty cool. <laughs> And we walk right up on it. Be there on it. Mm-hmm. Guys, <laughs> pointing his camera at the drone. He's all happy and smiles, man. Look at there. That's awesome. That's a cycle. Okay. Okay. Loaded him up. Looking good, nice. Colby. Nice. I'll consider that a nine point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's an Alabama nine point. Hey, it gives another nod that bear might be an Alabama ten point. <laughs> the rule, I've always heard the rule, if it can hold a wedding ring, it's a, it's a point. There you go. There you go. Well, I sure do appreciate it, guys. There's no way I would have found them without y'all. Congratulations. You're right, that stuff was thick, boy. It Woo! Was, it was nasty. Congratulations, Colby, on a great Alabama 10 point buck. Thanks for watching. All American Adventures is about Dad and I and spending time together and making videos and having fun. I hope you enjoyed the recovery of Colby's deer. Please like and subscribe.